if I had not made that prediction in 1965, I'm sure the industry would have just stopped growing and maybe collapsed. Now, realistically, uh, I think the, the trend was built in. It would have happened with or without something called Moore's Law. It just may not have been quite so easy to uh, demonstrate with a curve or two what had happened. But the, the genes that created the progress were already in place. Several people have impressed me. To pick a few, I'll start with my colleague, Dr. Bob Noyce and Dr. Andy Grove. Uh, they both had unique capabilities and were very important in the development of the industry, at least the part of it I was involved with. But then I look back at some of the original contributors, people like John Bardeen, uh, one of the quiet people in the early days of the industry that really made some of the first important contributions. I can't see any other technology where progress has been made at this rate for such a long period of time. It's the unique characteristics of the semiconductor industry. Making things smaller makes everything better simultaneously. It doesn't have the usual kind of trade-offs. The only trade-off is in the difficulty of executing the technology. But the products that come out are higher performance, cheaper, more reliable, all of the things you want. Uh, making steps from one technology node to the next is becoming increasingly difficult and more expensive. And I don't know how much longer it can continue. It would not surprise me at all if we kind of come to the end of scaling during this next decade. But I've been repeatedly surprised by the uh, ing ingenuity of the engineers and scientists and coming up with new ways to get around what look like insurmountable barriers. I think uh, the semiconductor industry is going to supply the intelligence for an increasingly intelligent uh, environment. The Internet of Things is just one example of where that's moving. And it just suggests that all of the pieces we have will be interconnected in some important way. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be a participant in that very much. Uh, the technology has kind of passed me by. Now, I've gotten far enough away from it, I have a tough time predicting what the major breakthroughs will be. And I look at my record of thinking of that in the past, and I have to admit I am not very good at it. I miss the PC, I miss the importance of the internet, and I probably miss several other things I don't even know about. Uh, predicting major innovation is a tough job, and I'll leave that to someone else.